the Velociraptor, portrayed in cinema, a two-meter tall killer, smart enough to open doors, is purely a Hollywood invention. In reality, the true animal stood only about 60 centimeters tall, weighed roughly the size of a medium coyote, and was far more closely related to birds than to reptiles. Despite its small size, it possessed a suite of refined biological adaptations that made it one of the most intriguing predators of the late Cretaceous. Velociraptor lived in the harsh, arid landscapes of the Jadokta Formation in Mongolia, where scorching days and freezing nights defined daily survival. Here, it hunted reptiles, small mammals, and especially Protoceratops, a sheep-sized herbivore that served as both competitor and frequent prey. Deadly sandstorms shaped this ecosystem, not only challenging life, but also preserving remarkably detailed three-dimensional fossils that revealed the Velociraptor's behavior. Anatomical evidence, most notably quill knobs on the forearm, confirms that Velociraptor was covered in feathers. These provided insulation, aided balance during struggles with prey, and may have served for communication displays. Unlike the boxy movie head, its real skull was long and narrow, equipped with serrated teeth, a flexible shaped neck, and a stiffened tail reinforced with ossified tendons. This tail acted as a dynamic counterbalance, allowing razor-sharp turns at high speed across the dunes. Its most iconic weapon, the sickle-shaped claw on the second toe, was not a slicing blade as Hollywood suggests. Instead, it functioned like a grappling hook, driving into flesh to help the raptor cling onto prey while using body weight and jaws to subdue it. The famous fighting dinosaurs fossil, capturing a velociraptor and protoceratops locked in combat, demonstrates this deadly technique. The raptor's claw embedded in the herbivore's throat, while the protoceratops simultaneously crushed the predator's arm in its beak. Although intelligent for a dinosaur, Velociraptor did not possess wolf-like teamwork or strategic planning. Fossil evidence suggests they hunted alone and only gathered around carcasses in chaotic feeding frenzies, resembling Komodo dragons more than coordinated pack hunters. The real Velociraptor does not need cinematic exaggeration. It stands as a marvel of evolutionary engineering, warm-blooded, feathered, agile, and adapted to one of Earth's harshest environments, a true bridge between ancient dinosaurs and modern birds.